So just as an overview, we're, I'm doing a teaching session here on the Gold Key release. And the Gold Key release is more than a, a release process used to get past stuck conditions or to get things moving again. It's a way of waking up, as you'll see as we get into the process and you find your mind fixations dissolving. Wow. The, the reason I've called this gold key release is because there's a lock involved. And the lock is the locks, a lock of fixated attention, fixated intention, entrainment by memory. That means it puts you in a groove and keeps you there so that you have the same kind of experiences again and again. And entrancement by imagination. That means your expectations are the things that are always going to turn out the way they've always been. And those four, attention, intention, memory, and imagination, correspond to what Ken Wilber's language, attention corresponds to communion, intention corresponds to agency, memory to agape, which is enfoldment, that's what memory does, and imagination corresponds to eros. And... I had gave a name, what? Eros, E-R-O-S. And this is all in the write-up that I ask people to have read beforehand. And I'm not going to touch on that now because I want to get into this as quickly as possible, but I'm giving you the minimum necessary information right now. What I envision here is first taking one person, a volunteer, through the procedure so everybody can see and hear how it's done. And then I will work with the group as a whole. In this procedure, nothing is disclosed. The only thing I hear from the participant is either is I'm ready for the next step or when we've reached the end point of the procedure, I'm going to ask, is what you were working on more, less, the same or gone. And I'll be looking for the responses to make sure everybody is either ready for the next cycle through. We will cycle through more than once as needed to completely wipe out the grip of the item you're working on. Or we'll end when people all say it's gone. <sighs> and typically this procedure has taken like 10 to 20 minutes to complete with a person. I've not done it with a group before. So you're the first as a group that I've been working with. If you give a static image on your Skype screen, I can't tell whether or not you're ready for the next step. The way it works is I'll guide you through a step. You'll be on camera. You turn off the camera, run the step, and click to turn your camera back on again. When people reappear, I'll know we're ready for the next step. Okay. And can I just type type in yes? Oh, well, if you're the only one typing, then I can look in, yes, I can look in the okay. chat. Yeah, I'm going to guess. Yes, guess I will be typing too. Okay, see so if we have a lot of typing, if it's only three people, I can look for three people, but it's um, it uh, could be awkward. Well, Next they can't sort of magically uh, make their videos work. Why not? I don't know. It just doesn't work like that. I oh, it. see, there it is. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> okay. Before I continue forward, do we have anything to ask or tell from anybody related to this? Nope. Okay. All right. So... The first step is to identify a nutty problem with which you are working. It can be shadow material. That means somebody or something you're reactive against. It can be a life situation that, in which you feel stuck. It can be something you want to change. It can even be something you're having difficulty creating into existence. 
you choose some item that's got you. Once you've got the item, I'm going to describe the steps ahead of time before working with anyone and then call for someone who wants to be run one-on-one -on -one with this. So the steps go like this. About the item you've suggested, notice the feeling you have of it in you, the feeling you have. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. And by the way, you may write it down, but you don't need to since I'll be coaching stepwise and since the entire procedure is written on some pages that I will provide in the chat window. Okay, and there's an audio recording of the coaching. So you can actually be coached by the audio, and I'll explain that toward the end. So you've located the sensation in you, the size and shape. Then you notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it. Then you notice how it all matters. Then you notice how it mattering involves you. Then you think I, to I yourself. I don't understand that sentence. Please rephrase. How it matters and then how it mattering involves you. How it matters to me? Yeah. How it matters and then how it mattering involves you as opposed to it mattering but you're not really involved mm -hmm. okay feeling how it mattering involves you you think to yourself it's true it's untrue it's true it's true then you will think to yourself it's untrue it's true it's untrue. It's untrue. Now, don't try to keep this all in your thinking mind. You'll only get jammed up. When we run the procedure, it'll, you'll see it runs smoothly. Okay. Having identified the feelings of it's true, notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Then notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Then you notice how remembering involves imagining. You stop imagining, let it dissolve and dissipate, awaken. So that's a complete run through of the cycle. Then I'll ask you, is it more, less, the same or gone? If it's gone, you're done. Other people, it may not be gone. So you get to listen through the cycle and have it go more ingrained and more familiar to you. So when you do it by yourself, it'll be much easier. We run through cycles until it's gone. It's gone means you're having trouble locating what it was, remembering what it was, or it's like smoke. It has no substance anymore. Okay. So I've named a bunch of steps, and what you do is turn off your camera to run this step and turn it on, or chat uh, in the chat box, you note that you're ready. And seeing that you're ready, I'll give you the next step. You listen, you do it, or you listen, you turn off the camera, you do it, and turn on the camera. That all make obvious sense? Anybody feel foggy about this? No. Is that thunder in somebody's environment? No. Lawrence, okay. Lawrence, what if you don't have yeah. anything you're stuck in? Make one up. Oh, here's one. If you feel like you have nothing that you're stuck on, <laughs> choose not having nothing I'm stuck on. <laughs> okay. Okay. What that will do is wipe out any internal distress you may have about not having something. I don't have any distress. <laughs> okay, so use that one. 
Use that because remember, this is more than just coming free. What about your daughter-in-law? <laughs> what about your your daughter-in-law? Oh, that's, that's that's pretty much moving along, no problem. <laughs> Okay. okay, but you know, if you wanted to play with that, you could choose any sense of difficulty you have about that. Well, I have words, plenty, so let's get started. <laughs> I knew Bettina was gonna. I knew Bettina was gonna push us. I knew that. Okay, so here we go. Now I see Monica is giving me a static image. So Monica, you're going to be in the chat box, are you? Mm-hmm. No, okay. you said we should we should turn no. it off. And then we should turn it on when we were yeah. ready. Yeah, are you ready to begin? So yeah, turn on your I'm camera. Ready. Oh. Bettina. I apparently don't understand what you're saying. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have to get clear before we begin. So the purpose of having the camera on or off is to tell me whether you're running the procedure or you're ready for the next step. When you're live, I know you're back and you're ready for the next step. Mm -hmm. When you're doing this step, you turn off the camera so I know not to interfere by talking. Okay. okay. Now let's do one, th one through and see how it goes. And if we need to debug anything, we can. So recall the item that you're going to work on. And this is where I want to see cameras turn off until you've got the item chosen. I have chosen mine. And for those not with a camera, I want to see chat box the word ready from you. And by the way, Mark, I don't see your, I know you have a camera, so use it. It's not ready yet. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, about that item, notice the feeling you have. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. Okay, I'm going to interrupt here because we have at least one person who has not shown up as ready yet. And locating the feeling you have about something isn't a three-minute exercise. It's probably about 10 seconds. So let's rehearse that step a little bit just to get everybody up to speed so we don't have long delays. Hey, everybody up for that? Okay, so choose another item in your life and notice what you feel about it. Notice the feeling. Notice its location in you. Notice its size and shape. And just take what you get. The shape may be shapeless or vague, long as you can locate the intensity of it in you. Okay, complete that. Now choose another item in your life and notice what you feel about it. Don't think it, feel it. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. And complete that. Now choose another item in your life. 
to be a person, place, or thing. Notice what you feel about it. Notice the location of that feeling in you, its size and shape. And complete what you're doing. Okay, now let's check in. Did anybody have any difficulty with that? No, okay. It was very fast. I don't yes. still have any image in this temple. Oh, well, there are no images. It's well, a feeling. I mean, the, you said the, the, the size or where it is to locate. Yeah, to feel it in you and locate where you feel it, the size of the sensation and the shape of the sensation in you. Yeah, to me it, is, it takes time. Okay. And, and for me, Lawrence, I'm sorry, I, I still am really not stuck. So so I, I think I have two choices here. Either I can sit back as an observer because I'm interested in what you're doing or else I can get off the call if it interferes with what you're doing with everybody else. Well, as long as your image is a living is the moving image, not your static image, mm -hmm. I won't be thinking that I'm waiting for you. Well, okay, I'll just leave my image up. <laughs> now leave your image up. Okay. Okay, now was, was it Gurdla who was saying it takes time? And Yana. Oh, and Yana. Okay. Well, no, I think I replied already. I just don't have my living picture availability. Because no, but right. you said it went too fast. You wrote that in the... Yes, it was too fast, but it's, I mean, it's like we tried to go through what, four or five at once. So I had a couple which I would work on. Okay, we're doing one at a time. Yeah. If you do one at a time, it'll be it won't be so it won't be too fast. If you do too much at once, then it will you won't be able to catch up. So we're just keeping our attention on one item at a time. Good. Okay, let's do one more drill of just three items, and then we'll continue. And I see two people are off camera, so I'm going to wait for you until I see your images again. They're not off. Uh, Skype is trying to um, refresh, so there's a circle, and uh, you, you have to accept the circle, I think. I don't think All right. Off. If they were okay. off, you would see their static picture. Okay. So let's, again, do three. Choose an item in your life about which you feel stuck. Notice the feeling you have of it. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. Okay, complete that one. Let it go. And choose another item in your life about which you feel stuck. Notice its location in you, its size and shape.
and complete what you're doing. Let that one go. And choose another item in your life about which you feel stuck. Notice the feeling. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. and complete what you're doing. Now let's check in. How did it go? No problems. Did anybody get stuck on feeling? Okay. It was very precise where it was and how it felt and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's still it is still difficult. I mean, it was better from the from the timing, but I mm -hmm. I just realized it's difficult for me to uh, locate. Okay. So about locating it, if you can notice what you're feeling, feel that. And notice where you feel it. I, I, I often don't really know. It's just I okay. don't know where I feel it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So how do you know that you're feeling it? I feel it in my heart. There you go. That's your location. Now just notice the size and shape. But then it's every item I would feel in my heart. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. If that's true, that's fine. As long as you locate the feeling and notice its size and shape. Okay. Anybody not able to do that? Well, in my case, I, I felt every feeling in my heart. Okay. And again, it's not a concern where you feel it as being a right or wrong location. It's mm -hmm. just that you feel it and locate it. Okay. Right? Anyone else have anything to ask or tell before the next step? Okay. All right, so now here's where we have a volunteer and I'll take you through the entire process and everybody can see and feel how it's done. Again, you don't do anything but let me know you're ready for the next step or that it's either more or less the same or gone. Now, don't all volunteer at once. I would. All right. Okay. Sounds like Gareth Crowd beat Mark to you. Mark, it's okay right. if you want to go first. I... Oh, go yeah. ahead, Gareth Crowd. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So since I don't have an image of you, just say ready for the next step, all right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So choose an item about which you feel stuck. Yep. Notice the feeling you have. Yep. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. Yeah. Notice the intensity of your intention toward it 
or about it. What do you mean by intention? The force of your wanting it to be different. Okay. Hi. Okay. Notice how it all matters. Matters to me or to? Just notice how it all seems to matter. How important it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Notice how it mattering involves you. Yeah. Think to yourself, it's true. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. Okay. Think to yourself, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. Mm -hmm. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Yeah. Notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Mm hmm Notice how remembering involves imagining. Mm -hmm. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. I just have a strong feeling in the body, like uh, shivering. It's not, I, I just rethought the words you said. I couldn't, I don't know how to do it. I just did it. <laughs> well, that's right. Okay. So is it more, less, the same? We know it's not gone. It's not gone, and it's still... It's like a, a pain that that's still very strong, but not that, you know, like... Just is it more, less, the same, or gone? A little bit less. Okay, notice what's left. Notice that feeling. Notice its location in you. Its size and shape. Okay. Notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it. Mm 
Yep. Notice how it all matters. Mm-hmm. Notice how it mattering involves you. Yep. Think to yourself, it's true. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. Yep. Think to yourself, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. Yeah. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Yeah. Notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Yeah. Notice how remembering involves imagining. Can people mute? There's so much noise in the background. Thank you. Can you say the last one? Notice how remembering involves imagining. Yep. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Dissipate is what? To spread out and become gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awaken. Okay. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? It's a lot less. Okay. Whatever is left, feel that. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. I'm sorry, but are we going to do it all of us? Let me know when you're ready. You can answer that question. It's okay. I... We're taking one person all the way through so you can see and feel how it's done. Then the group will do it. So Gertrude, is it more, less, the same, or gone? Oh, you answered that. Mm -hmm. Feel it. 
Uh, have you located its size and shape in you? Mm-hmm. Notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it. Notice how it all matters. Yep. Notice how it mattering involves you. Yep. Think to yourself, it's true. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Think to yourself, it's untrue. It's true. It's untrue. It's untrue. Yeah. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Yeah. Notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Yeah. Notice how remembering involves imagining. Yep. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? A lot less than before, but still there. Okay. So notice what's left. <clears throat> notice its location in you, its size and shape.
Notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it. Yeah. Good. Notice how it all matters. Oh, yeah. Notice how it mattering involves you. Yeah. Think to yourself, it's true. It's untrue. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's true, it's untrue, it's untrue. Mm -hmm. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Yeah. Notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Yeah. Notice how remembering involves imagining. Yeah. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. No special yeah. effort. Good. Is it more, less, the same, or gone? It's... It's pretty much gone. Okay. It's like what? there is still some remembrance, but it's not... It doesn't have that connotations anymore great so when I say it's like smoke that's mm -hmm. what I mean you can maybe identify it but it has no grip or charge anymore mm -hmm. 
So tell me, what's the difference after and before for you? There were images coming up and feelings and all this, and and I think I went back in history. Mm -hmm. And there was a specific event. Mm -hmm. And that dissolving that took the at the the last one. Mm -hmm. It's just like almost like putting fire under the image and just <laughs> letting it go. Okay. And yeah, and the true and untrue is just like doesn't have any meaning anymore. There's no okay. there's no I mean there were some belief sentences that came up but it was like, okay, is it true, untrue? This is not the criteria <laughs> anymore. Okay. Is there anything more? There was a lot going on in my body from mm. face to belly. <laughs> mm hmm and the locations of where where it started was my face and like drawing my whole uh, head backwards like no 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 and the second time i don't even remember how many times we did but then it went down to the the throat and the heart and then the the solar plexus okay. and there it is involved. I still feel where it is I can locate it but mm -hmm. it's not doesn't have the emotional connotation anymore okay I'm just curious did anybody else sense a change of feeling from beginning to end as you listened Yes, me too. Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. Was it in the direction of space? <laughs> <laughs> Which direction is that? <laughs> the opposite of toward density. It's the opposite. Yes. Thing. Now, you see, that's what happens. We're all connected by this field, but because we're so connected, it's like the water to the fish. We don't notice the field is there unless a change occurs in the field. And then we feel the effect. This is the morphic field we felt, or morphogenetic field. And Gertraud made some changes in herself by drilling from the densest, outermost feeling of it through the subtle body into the causal. And the causal is formless. The causal is the condition of the field itself, and the subtle is how the causal is modifying to create the features that we experience as ourselves and as life, and basically the aqua matrix. So now, I don't expect doing a group should take any longer than doing an individual, frankly, maybe even quicker, because you have an en masse movement into this direction of consciousness and dissolution. So we can do, what is it now? We have, it's, uh, oh, it's 1245, and Bettina said she had to leave in five minutes. Is I'm, I'm that right? I'm leaving now, but it was very interesting, and I actually participated in the, so I got the feel for it. So it was very, yeah. very good. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm going to put in, this, in the chat window the links to the write-up and uh, to the... Um, other additional things, like I mentioned the Tung Mudra as a, an adjunct to this. Tung Mudra is extremely potent when added to this, and this is something we can do on another occasion if we like. And will you send out the recording as well, or a link or something? Uh, yeah, I'll make all that available 
along with the recording of the coaching, not this occasion, but what I made for people to do by themselves. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's the content. So in a moment, this will go into the chat box. Now, this is the first of, I don't know, four or five procedures, each of which has a different function. The others you'll see in the write-up. Let me just drop this in here. Okay, so it's now in the chat box. And you'll see at the top it says Tongue Mudra. Mm -hmm. Tongue Mudra is something that can be added to many procedures, including the microcosmic orbit. makes it extremely potent to add this. The identity write-up is what I asked people to have read beforehand, and I'm curious who did. I, I can find out. Uh, I, I, as I said, like, I can't find my way uh, in, in, on your website, so I tried, but I couldn't find it. Oh, it's not on the website. It's just in the window here, in the chat window. If you click that, it will take you to it. Mm, okay. It's called Identity Write-Up. Right. The gold key release is just what I took Gertrude through. And then there are just some comments below that. Okay. See, now we can, for those who want to stay, we can run this as a group. Bye, Bettina. Bye. Bye, Bettina. Bye, Bettina. I will have to go in a few minutes as well. So shall I start or shall I just uh, leave it for now? Because it was a great experience even just participating as I did already. Well, you know, if you just start... Mm -hmm. and you interrupt, you'll end up at the degree of dissolution where you stopped, and you can pick it up. Oh, okay, There's so I can carry can't, on. You can't mm -hmm. lose it, and in fact, you can't even do this procedure wrong if you just do the steps. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if a person gets something that seems wrong from how it all matters, it doesn't matter. Use that. <laughs> it all works. You can't get the wrong result out of this. Right. If so you I'll just run cycles through, it will take you through all of the layers of confusion and solidity and dissolve them like, one after the other until you end up in the formless consciousness again, which is non-dual. It's perfectly coincident with this ordinary condition, as you can tell, what you can feel right now, depending on how deep you went with this. Right. So, yeah, Yana, you may pick it up at any time. And I do have to leave in about 10 minutes. Lawrence. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I'll just quietly sleep away at some point then. Yeah, it, it's okay. As I say, you can't do it wrong and you, you can't lose it. <laughs> You'll just good. end up with the degree of shift that you've created in yourself until you finish the job. Mm -hmm. It may also proceed on its own. There's, I should tell you, a phenomenon I call burn off. Mm -hmm. And that is when a person has done this procedure and they go back into ordinary life relations, they may feel a temporary resurgence of the thing that they dissolved, maybe even at a higher degree of intensity, but the feeling is that they can't do anything with it or to it. It's because they are shifted, but there is a certain memory or momentum to the old pattern, and it usually burns off by itself. It always burns off, but it usually goes off maybe in a, an hour or two hours Something like that. It just completely dissolves out the residue. Now, this is the, the learning procedure. It shows you the path from being solidly manifested to being formless or dissolved. And having had that experience, the other procedures now have a foundation from which you can run them. And I will only mention them by name, but not do anything with them in this call. There's one called the Middle Way Memory Matrix Ritual. And it works by pitting opposing items against each other. And it is extremely powerful. What we did is, is like you know 20% as powerful as the next one, the, the fair-mindedness memory matrix ritual, also known as the middle way memory matrix ritual. Extremely potent, much more so than this. There's one called the wish fulfilling gem. It's used for focusing attention and intention either on creating a condition or dissolving a condition using the structure 
of the tetra seed, the attention, intention, memory, and imagination. Another one is called the Vajra self-correction uh, ritual. Vajra is a Sanskrit term meaning lightning bolt or diamond. And it is extremely potent, but requires adequate preparation and proficiency in the earlier conditions. But it is, it, it's, I'm not going to say more about it now. I'm just telling you it exists. Very There's another one called the spell maker breaker. Let's start. <laughs> is it too much? Yeah. Is it too much? <laughs> too much. Not enough. Not enough. enough. Each very potent <laughs> procedures with different functions. And I think this is potent already. I'm while we are talking, I I yeah. really the the burn off. I feel it like as if every cell has something like that burn off. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's very in my whole body. Yeah. Now the write-ups I've done go into more detail about these. My purpose here was to expose you to it and give you an experience of it. Yep. Once you have the experience of it, it's just a matter of doing it enough times that you don't need the coaching, and you can use it on very difficult conditions. And some of them, some conditions in life are not so dense, and you can do a quickie just like the, the spell maker breaker or the Vajra self correction or self rectification ritual. <laughs> and the other, each has a function. Each has a function. Wow. I'm speechless. So thank you, Lawrence, for my personal, and now I want to have the bonus with the group. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have it with the group? Yeah, you said you want to. Yeah, I was just asking. Group, I didn't. Yeah. I, the words got cut off. The coming bonus through. with the group to do it with the group. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I need to know again before I move on, so no one gets left behind, that you've completed. My hope was to use the camera so I could just see everybody come live again. Yeah, my camera think, has oh. a problem. Yeah, I so then we've got to have, then I've got to have a, a notice in the chat box or someone. Yeah, that's the only way I can know Maybe. this because right. otherwise it's. Um, okay, so everybody choose an item and let me know when you've got it. You see, go off camera, choose the item, and come back on or say chat box ready. Okay. can't locate an item, Can choose you? I can't locate an item as your item. Can, Can we still you go? mute? Sorry. Not. Yeah, I think it's Janet. Okay. Still waiting for one more. Yeah, I got you, Monica. Wait, there we go. Okay. Now that item, notice what you feel regarding that item. Notice its location in you, its size and shape.
Notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it. Notice how it all matters. Notice how it mattering involves you. Think to yourself, it's true, it's untrue, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's true, it's untrue, it's untrue. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Notice how remembering involves imagining. Notice, good. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Notice if it's more, less, the same, or gone. If it's gone, you're done. Otherwise, notice what's left. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. Notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it.
Notice how it all matters. Notice how it mattering involves you. If it's gone, you're done. Think to yourself, it's true, it's untrue, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's true, it's untrue, it's untrue. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Notice how remembering involves imagining. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Notice if it's more, less, the same, or gone. If it's gone, you're done. Otherwise, notice what's left. Notice its location in you, its size and shape. Notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it. Notice how it all matters. Notice how it mattering involves you.
think to yourself, it's true, it's untrue, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's true, it's untrue, it's untrue. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Notice how remembering involves imagining. Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Notice if it's more, less, the same, or gone. I can't tell if we have any more to do here. Okay, it looks like Melanie is back on video. Okay, let's do one more cycle. Notice what's left. Notice its size, shape, and location in you. Notice its intensity. Notice the intensity of your intention toward it or about it. Notice how it all matters. Notice how it mattering involves you. Think to yourself, it's true, it's untrue, it's true, it's true. Think to yourself, it's untrue, it's true, it's untrue, it's untrue. Notice how feeling it's true involves remembering. Notice how feeling it's untrue involves remembering. Notice how remembering involves imagining.
Stop imagining. Let it dissolve and dissipate. Awaken. Okay, so we will stop here, knowing that you can pick up using the recording of the coaching on the page that I put into the chat box. So now we have option for conversation, comments, and questions. Well, I have a question. And uh, I actually, I know, not this kind of course, but I know the process of, you know, um, this kind of you, you, um, dissolve, it dissolves the problem, and but I'm not sure whether we really integrate it. You have mm -hmm. to integrate it to be able to dissolve it. That's you think this is for sure. For sure, you can't dissolve what you have not integrated. Okay. Because it's not in your own control. Yeah, I, Only when it's in your control can you dissolve it. And that requires integration. But this would mean if I would uh, come in the same situation from the outside, you know, people who trigger this point, it would not be triggered anymore. Yeah, you'll be completely different in your spontaneous response. Okay, you will see. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've seen. <laughs> the thing, though, is, you know, yes. run the procedure to its end where it's dissolved then you're likely to go through a burn-off period, of, as I said. But my experience is responses are spontaneously different from that point further. It's interesting because the, this uh, Arjuna Adak, who does the um, awakening coaching, he has quite a similar thing. It's not as, um, I mean, you have more steps. He has, it's more simple, actually. But I experienced it uh, with one weekend. We did it one weekend, and I came home, and I had the feeling my flat is not my flat anymore. It was. I felt so different that my reaction to my own flat was kind of, this is my flat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. You will sound different to yourself. Yeah without feeling weird. It'll be different. I, I listen. I listen to me because my video is, I don't know, it's broken. I listen, Lawrence. What is it? Are you listening? Yes. Yes, okay. Well, I've, I, I, I felt something very interesting. It's like uh, um, it's not matter anymore, and so interesting because the the thing that was that irritates me, and I thought that was big, was I don't know was was then uh, shorter and shorter, and then one thing that you you said just the, uh, at a click and it's just matter and i felt very uh i'd say um the opposite of heavy yeah what's the word so no, it's not soft the opposite of heavy it's uh, light i don't know what light yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah. It was very interesting and very good sensation, too. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you a lot. Yeah. Thank so, you a lot. And Lawrence, I was, uh, <clears throat> I, I, as we started to get into it, I thought, oh, this is a, a release technique. I've heard of these before. I've participated in some of them. And so I thought I knew what was uh, going to happen, how it was going to work. Um, but the fact is, I had not counted on the contagious effect of the we that we have gathered here. 
mm. you know, which really multiplied uh, all the well, all the effects. I should, I guess, I should say. Um, mm -hmm. And frankly, my the, my my item of concern uh, eventually disappeared completely in about three times, three turns. Yeah. And that's, mm -hmm. this is this is wonderful, and I really have a feeling that it may come back and haunt me again, but it's not going to be the same at all. Yeah. 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 That's the same. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the comeback and haunting is probably the, going to be the burn off. Mm -hmm. But it if you haven't gotten all of it, and there's still some solidity, let me put it a different way. If it's if you ha can remember what the item was without a lot of effort, yeah, then you're not done. <laughs> when you're done, it's difficult to remember what you were working on. <laughs> What was I bothered about? What was that? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, <really. Yeah. laughs> That's great. So this is developed out of the Tetra seed, the attention, intention, memory, and imagination that Ken Wilbur calls Eros, Agape, Agency, and Communion. And it comes straight out of well, it's a, I'm, I was going to say it comes straight out of somatic education, but frankly, the somatic educators don't understand it this way. <laughs> They've got part of the picture, but I'm a convergence of many lineages. Yes. And so the synthesis that I've created here comes out of the entire work I've been doing all these years. Yeah. The foundation is identical to the foundation of somatic education and to the foundation of the superhuman operating system. Well, you can take any of these traditions and go deeper and deeper and weave them together in different ways and yeah. come up yeah. with a, a synthesis. It's, it's just something brand new, really. That's wonderful. Thank you, Lawrence. Wonderful. Thank so you. So you apply this to shadow work? Mm -hmm. To manifestation work and what I saw about this is that the uh, awakening you know what they call waking up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the major impediment to waking up is shadow sure and so this has both it de deals with shadow and with waking up mm -hmm. so there you have it people now oh, yeah. if you want to do more of this we can schedule other occasions we can also undertake special projects, and I have one in mind that I will not say until you've had a chance to work with this some and get more proficient at it. But there's a very amusing, interesting project we could use this for. <laughs> Let's brag <practice> more. <laughs> well, this is fascinating. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Okay, Bill. folks. Okay. Thanks. Well, let's look at...